Hi, it's Stacy here, and today I will show you how to make the best use of the custom post type block in GetWid. Its purpose is to display contents sourced from different post types in a list or grid. For other layouts, check out our video tutorials on post carousel and slider. However, what we are talking about today is custom post types block. It shows posts in a responsive and creative manner with multiple sorting and filtering options. In order for the block to show up in your list of available blocks, make sure that GetWid is installed and activated on your website. After that, you will see the custom post type block in your set of website building tools. In the top bar, we can change the layout to grid or list. On the right, we select the post types that will show up. GetWid picks up both regular post types like posts and pages and custom ones. As you see on my website, I have two custom post types, accommodation type and services, added by the Motopress Hotel Booking plugin. Below are the sliders that define how many posts are displayed and how many are skipped. It is better to use pagination if your list of posts is long. Then users will be able to navigate through the list without scrolling too much. Note that when pagination is enabled, the number of posts turns into the number of posts per page. This block also has very advanced sorting and filtering options that allow you to be precise with what posts you want to display and their order. The order can go from last to first and from first to last. The post can be ordered by date, title, randomly, author name, last modified date and menu order. Menu order is something that is available for most post types and it can be edited for each post separately when you hover over a post and click quick edit. The posts in your blog will follow this custom order if you select menu order. Sticky posts are those that are attached to the top of your blog and with GetWid you can ignore these posts in the list if you want to. In WordPress, each post has a unique ID. You can see their IDs when you hover over a post. For example, my post has ID 298 and we can display only this specific post by adding their comma separated IDs in the next field. In the same way, we can exclude specific posts from the list by their IDs. If you are adding a post list to the page of a post, you don't want the current post to be displayed in the list, so you can click Exclude Current Post to achieve it. Depending on the post type that you selected earlier, you will see different taxonomies for filtering. For example, if you want to display posts of a specific category with a specific tag, then you can select both categories and tags by holding Ctrl or Command. GetWid will immediately display the tag and category terms available on your website. We can again select multiple or one. Note that if you do not select anything in these two fields, all posts of your post type will be displayed. If you selected multiple terms, decide if you want a post to appear in the list if it has all these terms or at least one of them. Display settings is where we can change the layout of the posts. Note that if grid is selected, we can also choose the number of columns. The spacing between each post can be set to none, small, medium, normal, and large. Post template is the layout of each post itself. In my theme, by default, the template is featured image on the left, title and excerpt on the right. However, GetWid allows you to create a custom template by clicking New. We have a detailed video on how to work with these too. This time, I will select one of the pre-made templates, Image in Background. After updating, I can see it in my list of templates. This way, you can get very creative with presentation of posts. If you need more advanced customizations, add your custom CSS class to the whole block in the Advanced tab. I hope the video was useful for you. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions about this block.
Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our WordPress tutorials. Thanks for watching and have a great one!